<laughs> Look at that. It might kill you, but if you like garlic bread, you're gonna wanna see this. First thing we're gonna do is melt this one stick of unsalted butter. We're gonna use some squeeze tube garlic, some shredded Parmesan cheese, some mild cheddar cheese. Get you some fresh parsley, throw that in. And you know we need the Danos, the green top. That's the original, we hit it with the pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. Looks like we need to melt another stick of butter. I didn't tell you this was healthy. That's looking a lot more like it. Next step, you need some grains, flaky layers. Cut them in half and roll them up into a little ball, like that. Throw your balls in the sauce and toss them in. We quickly realized that one can of biscuits wasn't gonna do it. So, not only we get some more biscuits, but we also grab some Dano's original and the spicy at Kroger. I guess we gotta melt one more stick of butter. Add that third stick of butter, some more garlic paste as well, some more Dano's, and a little more Parmesan cheese, and a little cheddar as well. Continue to sauce up our balls. Once we got a solid layer, we're gonna sprinkle a little more cheese, lay in our balls till we fill it up. Now we go into our oven at 350 degrees. All right, it's been 50 minutes, time to get a bite. Check it out, y'all. Simply just pulls apart. Everyone's, it's each own little biscuit. You got the Danos, you got the garlic. Look at that, y'all. I hope you enjoy, give it a try. Like I said, it might kill you, but it's gonna be damn good. You don't know till you Dano. Yum, yum, get you some. Keep sprinkling, we'll see you next time.